23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Shots fired! Shots fired! Unit, unit 4, 998. The Bakersfield Police Department releasing a video including part of a 911 call and edited parts of body worn camera footage from an officer involved shooting that happened on November 10th. BPD said the suspect shot at officers several times while officers pursued him on foot near White Lane and South Real Road in Southwest Bakersfield November 10th. In the video, after officers fired shots, the suspect, Alejandro Chagoya, laid on the ground and claimed to be a minor. BPD later confirmed Chagoya was actually 20 years old and he was taken into custody. He was taken to the hospital with a gunshot wound to the hand. After his release from the hospital, Chagoya was booked into jail on six counts of attempted murder of a public official, robbery, carjacking, and burglary. The investigation is ongoing. This is the fifth officer-involved shooting for BPD so far this year. New legislation, if signed into law, would require law enforcement officers in California to be 25 years old or have a four-year college degree. On Monday, 23 ABC sat down with Kern County Sheriff Donnie Youngblood, and he talked about this. Just saw today where uh, Assemblyman Reggie Sawyer is introducing legislation that would require a law enforcement officer to be 25 and have a BA degree. I don't know where we'll get those people uh, in Kern County. Uh, you know. Hiring them young is there, there's a good and there's bad in that, but uh, you know they're, they're given six months of training. Uh, at the end of the day, you can't get inside somebody's head and decide what's there. Assemblyman Reggie Jones Sawyer introduced the legislation citing studies that have shown a college education reduces the likelihood of using excessive force. There is concern that the legislation could eliminate candidates who don't have the same access to a four year college degree, as well as minority groups and those who live in underserved communities. Joan Sawyer believes if the number of first time use of excessive force decreases, we will see a larger decrease with repeat offenses by the same officers. Looking at some more breezy winds for our Friday. Officially, the wind advisory will be expired by noon, but in general, we're still looking at some breezy conditions in the mountains, just not the very strong gusts that we've seen here this Thursday night. Temperature is quite a bit cooler, too. The winds are with the cold front that have been pushing through. Only 56 year high in Bakersfield. Overnight low is chilly as well, below freezing for parts of the valley. Really kind of chilly all across Kern County for tomorrow. And even into Saturday, a little bit on the cooler side. Just a tiny, tiny chance of a couple of raindrops on Saturday. Really, I think most of us are going to stay dry. It's actually not until late next week where we have a more legitimate chance of picking up some rain. That'll be coming next Thursday. Seven day forecast here for our mountain communities showing not only that cooling trend and the, uh, the rain, excuse me, late in the forecast, but several rounds of breezy conditions as well. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.